Beautiful day today in Pacific Northwest, Washington State. Amazing weather, amazing nature, everything. Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Thanks so much for watching and tuning in. Today is going to be a big day. We have to replace the engine mounts on this amazing machine, W115, and also this entire kit of front subframe bushings. Uh, they're pretty bad. So I'm about to show you all the parts and let's get started on this. So these are the engine mounts you need for the W115. It's the part number right there. And these are different than W123s and stuff like that. As you can see, there's actually, I'll show you later, but there's threads inside that hole. You need to have threads inside that hole. Otherwise, you know, those mounts will not fit. Alright guys, so the front right wheel is off and just look at these bushings, they're pretty tired, they've never been replaced on this car, this one too, so that's our job right now is to actually work on this, control arm bushings are a little tired too, but it's okay, they're still fine, it's just the upper kind of like coating is peeling off of them, but they're still fine, so I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, working on this side. I'm probably gonna end up loosening the sway bar. We will see. Got the engine mounts right here. Two. And inside of here, I got all four subframe bushings with the hardware as well so i'm installing all these bad boys pretty excited to have fresh front suspension just the part number for these all right guys the engine is supported i usually use the rubber pads but i ran out, ran out of those at this moment so just using block of wood oil pan is all good and yeah um I loosened the engine mounts already, which I'm gonna show you. And then I jacked up the engine uh, kind of up. So it's out of the way of the subframe. I'm gonna start on this side first. I'm gonna replace these bushings and then move on to the next one. Okay guys, so on this side, there's that engine mount. So we have a 19 millimeter bolt that's holding it. It's pretty easy to take off. Then there's a a heat shield I already took that out and then the engine mount is held on by six millimeter allen bolts like this so there are two of them once you take that out then you can take that engine mount out of there I just need to jack it up some more let's jack it up some more da, 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 da. carefully there we go Let's try that oh, just a little bit more you can actually because i have two of them undone so you can kind of rock the engine a little one way or the other also battery disconnect and make sure you disconnect the battery all right there's one of the engine mounts as you can see it's completely flat and there are threads inside so when you get the engine mount make sure you get the right one because a lot of times it will give you the ones without threads inside or the ones that look like for w123s so those are not going to fit there's actually a big difference between both of these okay so what i ended up doing is I sprayed a bunch of PB Blaster inside of those holes for the bolts, so we can take them out easy. So I'm about to try that, but yeah, we'll see what happens. So I disconnected the shock on the bottom here, and then supported the lower control arm, which is going to support the entire subframe. And then there's 15 millimeter bolts, one right here, one right here. Okay, so we're gonna. I already loosened them, so we're gonna just take them out completely. Okay, and then we're gonna try to lower this. Hopefully, everything goes smooth. Let's see. Uh, nice, look 
at those bolts, they're still like new. That's what that one looks like. Okay, so I started undoing this sway bar link right here. It's a little bit of an, in the way, and then lowered this. I just gotta lower it some more. So I might have to disconnect this all the way. Yeah, so far I didn't touch this. Maybe we don't have to, but we'll see. Okay, so I lowered this enough, hopefully enough. And I'm gonna try to put some piece of wood right here. And then I'm gonna start jacking it up from underneath because it looks like these bushings just go up like that. Okay guys, so I'll show you what I did. The jack is actually off of the suspension. It seems like it's resting against this right here, which is fine. So what I'm gonna do is there should be enough clearance. Now I'm put this rubber pad with cardboard is gonna be basically preventing the frame to, from going up. And then I'm gonna be pushing these bushings out. That's what I'm gonna be doing. So if you look at the new bushing, basically like sits like this. Yeah, and uh, this is what you'll be pushing against on. So you have to find like a socket or something. And then you'll be using jack for that. I also have these uh, tool kits that are rented out. And some of these cups may be useful. So we will see. Okay, take a look at this. This is the method. I used 11 millimeter uh, socket. And this is supported right here, so suffering is not gonna go up. Also, really be careful with this hose. Okay, I covered it up, it's, it's fine. And yeah, just gotta start doing this and that's it. Look how easy it is to take it out. And then what I also did is sprayed PB Blaster inside of there. have it look at the condition of this this is original never been changed it's a mercedes star right there next thing is going to be my favorite the silicone paste to install with helping uh to help uh, install new bushings before i install that bushing i'm going to clean everything there and i'm going to press this one out just so you guys know these bushings are all the same there's no difference uh rear or front okay the other one is getting pressed out the same way was easy way too easy <laughs> great okay sometimes basically this was really easy to just push by hand like this one i'll show you it's gonna go by hand and okay like that 
if it doesn't like on some cars for example right then you would just jack it up all the way which i'm going to show you so then you would just jack it up and then as soon as it bottoms up uh, out right here then you would just keep pumping your jack until this presses and then your jack will literally just press this stuff in so it's just amazing easy now let's keep on going install this guy let's make sure this lines up right there Okay, before I close this up, I want to put some silicone paste or just grease around there so it doesn't try to rust or anything. Yeah. And this, you can coat this with silicone paste too. It's even better for it. It's going to protect it from cracking up. Okay, so here's what else we have in the kit. A bunch of spacers and this. Not right here, even though the old one was still fine gonna use new ones and then some rubber pieces right here for this bolt gonna spray some fluid from down there preservation you don't want it on the rubber but so for these nuts they're gonna go that way on both sides already set them in and basically as you can see they have this uh part right here that just sticks out so that part is just showing an example it's gonna go kind of on top just gonna it's not gonna set firm but it's gonna line up like that so the bolt it's got new spacer it's got new right here the rubber and that one too and then i put a little bit of uh, silicone paste on the bolt and just a little bit of on threads to prevent rust and we can go ahead and install it go that okay so what i like to do is i'm gonna tighten it fully once the wheels are on the ground that's how i want to do it i don't want to tighten them right now and it's in the air yeah, i'm gonna drop the suspension and then do everything when it's on the ground now let's install this bolt man this tea is really good it's like almost like arizona style tea yeah literally like half and half i really like it they have different flavors too they have like raspberry uh, other flavors um yeah i'm super amazed that thing is really good actually but still my number one favorite is arizona <laughs> yep arizona is the og but yeah, I'm finishing up this side and I'm gonna jump to the other side. My engine mounts are gonna be the last thing I'm gonna do. It's gonna be actually pretty simple once the bushings are done. All right, guys, this side is all done. Check this out. Side, so, like I said, once the wheels, both wheels are on the ground, I'm gonna bounce the car print down, then I'm gonna tighten these all the way. But yeah, this is what everything looks like here. Shock is back on, spray bar link. And you know, this since the shocks are gonna need to be replaced at some point, you know, some bushings are cracked and you know, so that's that's gonna be on, on the list, but it's okay. The I checked the suspension and there was actually like, yeah, these bushings are a little tired, but there was nothing crazy about the suspension. I just mainly wanted to replace these uh, subframe bushings, engine mounts, because there was just a lot of vibration and these mounts are just garbage. Yep, and sway bar links are gonna get replaced at some point as well. So the surface for the engine mount, I'm actually cleaning some surface rust and I'm gonna, I'm painting it right now. Once the paint is dry, I'm gonna put uh, silicone paste on there or just any grease, that way it's just gonna be protected. And then I can start installing the, the engine mount. Alrighty guys, yeah, this side, this side is just a disaster. Take a look at this bushing. It's just a disaster. Okay, and then this one is also kind of pretty bad. So I'm going to take care of all this.
this side before you lower it all the way make sure you protect this brake hose it's gonna put uh, like a rag right here there and then you gotta watch this oil pressure line right there to make sure that it doesn't get you know broken or anything so yeah that's really important another thing yeah just kind of do it slowly so slowly slowly so actually i was wrong you don't have to worry about that pressure line because the engine as you can see is jacked up right there and just supported we're only lowering the subframe and that oil pressure line is not connected to the subframe or anything but still i kind of actually want to loosen it and fix it up because you can see it has that bend so I'm gonna try to loosen it and tighten it up again. I don't know if someone was messing with it or what. You can see this, how bad this bushing is. Now when it's lowered, uh, I'm going to remove that engine mount and replace it. And okay, now that engine mount, we're gonna be changing it, it's pretty bad. So once again, six millimeter. Loosen all of these bolts. Okay, engine mount is out right here. That's how bad it is. As you can see. Gonna install this one anyway. Okay guys, so the engine mount is in as you can see, bolted up. And then I fixed this oil line too. I just had to uh, uh, loosen that 14 millimeter fitting and then move the line. So now I really like it a lot better. It's not kinked. Uh, so yeah, there you guys have it. And then I still have to install this guy, this cover. Clean it and reinstall it. And then we can get to these bushings and start taking those out. Everything was cleaned up and looped up there. Wow. Pretty much by hand that you can press them in. That's nice. There we go. That's it. And this one. This is like the worst one. Okay, so remember how I told you that you need to use this rubber pad between the frame of the car and the subframe so these bushings aren't really crazy in there so just kind of learned that you know probably just do it like this they're gonna come out so you don't really there's not a lot of pressure holding them in so yeah some cars you actually have to you know do it the way i showed you on that side but I guess on this car, it's not really super necessary. This is the worst bushing right here. I'm gonna clean this area, I'm gonna press new bushing in. Okay, last one. We're gonna start lifting it. Make sure the sway bar link goes in. Get new rubber, new spacer, 
and some grease on the bolt. It's getting late, but I'm almost done working on the car, almost done with this drink <laughs> that I've been trying to finish while working on the car, but I was so busy. Yeah, uh, installed the engine mount, everything. Uh, just gotta install the engine mount on this side, right here, and yeah, put everything back together. The car is lowered on the ground already, and then um, I'm gonna bounce the suspension up and down and everything, and then we're gonna get this car uh, well, tied in those bushings for the subframe. Okay, this uh, side, the right side, is also ready to go. Put a bunch of grease there for preservation. Yeah, let's go ahead and install the engine mount. So for this bottom one, I'm just or this uh, one, the bolt closer to the engine. I'm just using the uh, Allen key. That's yeah, a bit of a pain, but that's okay. It was a bit of of a pain to align the bolt holes for both engine arms. But it's okay, we got it. Okay, now when the car is fully on the ground, I just bounced it off multiple times up and down. The engine is all the way lowered too. Now we can proceed to getting these bushings tightened up, the suffering bushings all the way. All right guys, this is the next day. I painted this uh engine heat shield looks really good right there and i'm about to install this that side is already on right there i'm gonna install this one line it up All right, that's how bad these subframe bushings are, as you can see. They've probably never been replaced. Also, the kit came with four of these plastic kind of silicone pieces. So what I'm assuming is they have to go right here. So I didn't install them on my <clears throat> car. I mean, you can if you want to. I'm gonna pull up the wiring schematic, or not wiring, but just the schematic of these bushings and the hardware. But uh, the old ones that I took out, these ones, they didn't have any. And these are for sure original, never been done before. So yeah, it's okay. And then I test drove the car, just, just perfect. So I am not worried about these parts whatsoever. But like I said, if you wanted to, I mean, this would go like this. From what it seems like, yeah. So. You can definitely install those like that. These old rubber um, pieces, spacers, so I installed new ones on. These are in pretty set shape. Yeah, check out these engine mounts, how bad they were. This was the right side, this was the left side. This is just all squished in there. Also, Mercedes part, 